kal halalion la yahavu bahasham shal yahavu shay bahasham wakakodash which is ancient Paleo Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is the Father, Heavenly Father and Heavenly Son, only Hebrew name in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great and stone, salutations to the sincere Akim as pushing the truth to the Holy Bible in fear and sincerity and truth. Now, I want to go into a quick lesson proving that Esau is a so-called white race. Um, some of the key elements of his character is stuff like blasphemy, no regard for, for human life and the earth that he live in, the earth that we live in, and the earth that we co coexist together in. He doesn't care about it. Alright? And um you know, you can't you can't run from it. It cannot be the Arabs. It can be any other um, so-called race of people, all right? It has to be the so-called white race. Cause tonight I was coming home from work. It's like around one o'clock. Now it's like two o'clock. And in the sky, you saw you see long trails of smoke scattered. In the sky and then there were two other trails that was just cast in the sky white smokish looking things right trails being emitted from a, from a jet right or aircraft whatever you want to call it all right who else has the power to do something like this who else has the ability to do something like this Hmm? No one else but the so called white race. He's flying over this so called third world country, Guyana, because we don't have you know, high tech technology for, for C1 planes flying over illegal airspace and whatnot. They, they have to have permission. I want to clear something up. This is a photograph I found online. This is chemtrails. When you see it in the sky like this, this is after the it's the wind hits it and whatnot. And this is contrail from when a jet gave off gave off a, a certain smoke or whatever. Alright? There's no way this could turn into this. Right? So last year, Tree Pretty Albash and Michelle was cleaning this this is what I took. This is a lot um 2017 This is the 5th of May. Uh, this is the same day. This is how this purse. This is uh another day on the 28th of May. This, this might be um contrails. Alright. This one is chemtrails. Now my phone is not the best quality, so I couldn't get a photo tonight. But it, the sky was saturated with this chemical. I can't recall the full makeup, and you know, I don't have any at this point in time to, to do so. All right. But who else has the power to fly over nations and just drop chemicals over them? All right. Who has that? This is on the. Uh, is on the 8th and this is August and this is August 5th last year this is another angle same August 5th and you see how it see how dispersed in the sky that's how it dispersed that's how it was tonight all right so let's get some scriptures this is um Malachi 1 and verse 4. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said to our hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness. That's why I brought out this precept. And seeing this is just aggravated from Skull Rock. Every time, I, every time I see these things, you know, I. I 
get so infuriated with the war of Christ and things like that. This man really out to destroy the children of Israel in this world. Right? It says that the war is given in the hands of the wicked, if not where who if not where and who is he? And the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever. Right? And the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever. Alright? So Esau can't run from it. Esau can't run from the prophecy of Yahweh Hashem Yashem. Let me get this other precept. Micah 2, verse 1 to 4. Imagine at that hour night, that hour of that hour tonight. This is just poisoning people in the sleep, dog. This is Micah 2 and 1. Warn to them that devise equal iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. Even before the morning light, they practice in this wickedness. Because it's in, because it is in it is in the power of their hand. Arabs are not flying over these lands. This is what people fail to understand. Who else has the power to, to poison this world like this? And they covet fields, they take them by violence and houses, they take them away. And they always playing a bully, they want to always want to set up an embassy in everybody land. Alright? So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Not his religion, his heritage. Therefore thus saith Yahweh, behold, against this family do I devise an evil of this family that hath made the Edomites, that's it forever, from which we shall not remove your necks, from which we shall not remove your necks, so they cannot escape the yoke of the evil that Yahweh devised for them. Neither shall ye go heartily, as in arrogantly, for this time is evil. In that day shall one take up a parable against you, and that's exactly what the man of the Lord is doing. He passes an hour of GMS and all from Sir Brothers, alright, outside of GMS. And he meant with a doleful lamentation. I sorely and doleful lamented seeing such wickedness being done. Without, without regard of anything, without consideration of anything, say, ye be utterly spoiled. And ye have changed a portion of my people. How hath how he removed it from me? Turning away, he hath divided our fields. Alright, because this land was first made owned by our people. And our land is divided into different nations and whatnot, and governed by these same Edomites, you know. Let me just get a small priest up real quick because there's a um, shopping scale order. Isaiah 24 verse 5. Alright. 24 verse 5. It says, The earth is also defiled under the, under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws. He shall claim that he. We know the laws of the Hawashimush, right? As for Father Isaac was talking about us, but we saw cast it, the Hawashim Yoshin laws behind his back and mocks it. Right? This is so called comedian George Carlin, because I don't think he's down funny. With blasphemy. You know, blasphemy. I'm gonna do a lesson on that true spirit and how that is that. Changed ordinance and broke the everlasting covenant. Everlasting covenant that you should eat, you should breathe fresh air and leave things as it is, and not poison it with, with, you know, um, experiments and, and whatnot, tweaking of, of chemicals and atoms and whatnot, you know. Just a preset. Um, Romans 8 and verse 22 and 23. Yeah, so the earth is defiled with the inhabitants thereof. 
have changed ordinances. And this is always affecting this world. People talking about global warming and whatnot, when it's the same wicked people who change certain ordinances and have the world off balance, surely turn upside down. This is our Romans 1822, for we know that the whole earth is like the whole creation of Romans and travailed in pain together until now. And this scripture was written four times for our learning these times, right? Until now, the whole creation is still going. So the apostles saying that, not just men, because they were shedding innocent blood, defiling the land with abominable acts. They're still doing it, they're acting worse and worse. And not only they, but ourselves also. That's what should us talking about. The, the earth, the entire earth, everything that is, 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 is groaning under this man, um, in this man's rulership, which have the first fruits of the spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wait. The redemption of our own of our, our body. We're looking to get rid of these deep fire bodies. You know? Praying to Yahweh Hashem and Hashem and the universe. And you have mercy on us. Alright, so let's get the sounds. Should I get no, yeah. So the sounds 96 and 10. Alright. Close off of the revelation. Psalms 96 and 10. Anyway, it says, um, Say among the heathen that Yahweh reign, and that's what we really do every week in videos. Yahweh reign, alright? The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. Now, I call to expect your first Peter. As we look for a new heaven, a new earth, where we endeavor to dwell with righteousness, right? So the earth shall be re-established. I know it says established here. That the world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. And he shall judge the people righteously. That's what's going to happen soon. Our Bashan shall be judge everybody righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the thorns bear up. That's not kind of literal. Right? Let, let the field be joyful because he saw don't believe in land Sabbath. Right? He don't, don't believe in resting around on the seventh year. Come to Hell Bash and Shang Word. Right? Let the field be joyful because we did read in um, Malachi. Right? He covet fields. It's like in my girl. Could be fields, and all that is therein, then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. So, the trees that supposedly were in the carbon, carbon dioxide are being poisoned by this air of themselves, put it in the sky. Excuse my language, but this, this is really frustrating, right? Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before you howl. For he cometh, for he cometh. So he said twice, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, and he shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. And what's his truth? Psalms 119, verse 151. All his commandments are true. If I'm not mistaken, right? So let's close out with Revelation 11 and 18. All right. It says, and the nations were angry, even the heathens are angry at what they call ridiculous because uh, I believe it's one of those so called African nations are saying we will not be bullied by the US, right? You know, North Korea is angry, Russia is angry, China is angry, right? And thy wrath has come, and, thy t and the time of the dead, and the scripture says that Yahweh has created. As devise it evil for them that they should be judged and that thou shouldst give reward unto this unto thy servants the prophets that's what we're doing we pro prophesying what, what this wicked man is doing we listen to power and scripture says unto the saints and them that fear thy name thy name 
small and great, whether it's the apostles that we are just a righteous man trying to keep the laws and commandments and help under the ministry, right? And should us destroy them which destroy the earth, that's safe to have a in your shell. And I can't wait for that bunch in your shell, you can paint trip judging comes with the chaos people, you know. And with that, I pray that this lesson is all fine. Again, I'll praise the Harabash and Yoshai Bahash and Kakodash, that were honest the apostles and elders of great and stone salutations, peace and blessings, and since we are here, we left the 144,000 men, men and children. We left it to be saved in these last days. Right, stay strong, stay focused, and imagine this. Yeah, stay strong, stay focused, and imagine. This is the day after torment, this wicked ass devil doing this thing. No regards whatsoever.